Good morning, guys. guys. Welcome back to CNC Life. It is a beautiful kind of not too cold, but like cloudy day in North Carolina. Cloudy, rainy. Yep. Changes. Yep. And we have a huge announcement, guys. Our fence is done. We officially have an actual backyard. Like, it really didn't feel like we had a backyard when we did not have a fence up. As soon as we had the fence up, I was like, oh my gosh, our backyard. <laughs> like, there it is. And it has been so nice to just be back here with the dogs and Jackson. Although, the dogs can't be out right now because it is super muddy out here. And we have, like, this damaging red clay out here that the dogs just, like, drag in everywhere over the house. Um, it's not, like, regular dirt. It's, like, really tough dirt. Um, it's really staining. They're literally stained red already. So, we're having to take them out right now, like, on leashes up until the uh, rain kind of lets up, which it will in a couple days. Um, but it's just been so nice, guys. Like, look at this. Let me show you guys our picket fence right here down the middle. So, we got this picket fence down here down the middle, all the way down to the deck. And we have a gate right here in the middle that we can access for when we do want to go on the dog side or we want to let the dogs over here. Just whatever. We have a little access point right here, which is awesome. The dog side is humongous. I love it. I love our side though. Like this area right here, I wanna do something right here. I gotta get like a trampoline, a play set. You gotta put a fire pit somewhere. I don't know. What do you think of it, baby? He's looking for rocks. Yeah, this kid's obsessed with rocks. Hey, you, you checking how sturdy it is? I will admit that didn't look too sturdy. He's like, guys, this could just be blown over. <laughs> and I just do that. There we go. Stacy, what are you doing? <laughs> Why do you do whatever you want? <laughs> She's on his freaking water table. She's so funny. What are you doing? You just doing whatever you want? Come here. I let you out here, but you're already so filthy as it is. So I think we're good. All right, we are at the dealership because we are car shopping. We really feel like we need a truck. So we're taking a look, but it is slim pickings, guys. Slim yeah. pickings. I'm at a Toyota dealership. They're trying to look for a Tacoma for months now, and nobody has it. Nope. So we're trying to explore our options, like maybe used or a Tundra. It's like Toyota stopped making Tacomas, and they're just like, no, don't send them to dealerships no more. little backstory on this, though, is that Carlos has always wanted a Tacoma. For as long as I've known him, he's like, someday I want a Tacoma truck. And now it's, you know, five years down the line, and we still don't have a Tacoma truck. And now we're, like, ready to get one, and it's just, like, not an option. And we actually need a truck out here. Yeah. We really feel like you can't be out in this kind of environment and um, weather area without a truck. So we really do need one. But man, it is tough. You know, you think, you know, like, I'm ready to buy a car. You think you'd just get your car like you used to back in a couple years ago. But <laughs> it's not like it anymore. Now it's like a, it's like survival of the fittest out here. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll keep you guys updated. We did find some that we like, but they were already sold. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got home from the dealership and we told you like it wasn't going well, but. And now we came back because we're going to take a nap with Jackson, right, Jackson? Yeah, we're going to take a nap. <laughs> I have great news, guys, guys. Like, literally great news. We bought a car. It's not great news because we bought a car, but we didn't bring it home. <laughs> yeah, we did technically, although buying a car is kind of like a big word, obviously. We have officially reserved a car. And we have technically, you know, it's ours, basically. We put a deposit on it. Right? Yeah. And we don't get it, though, until, like, July or August. <laughs> which is, like, forever away. Um, but we are really excited because we got exactly what we were kind of hoping for. Um, so I'm really excited for it. But I, I don't have, like, this cool, like, shot where I can be like, we're a brand new car. <laughs> we don't have that. Well, got you. So we are excited, though. You excited for yeah, the car? Yeah, we're very excited. Just that we can't have it for, like, Two months. Two, two and a half months, depends. No, hopefully just two months. Hopefully two months well, and that's it. They give us an estimated date, but they could say two weeks before or two weeks after. So yeah. just put us right in the middle. Yeah, so hopefully we, we get it sometime in July. But yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But we did get a car. We just don't have it to show you guys or we don't have any proof of it. But <laughs> proof is in the oh, pudding, guys. Show them this, show them this. Look, oh, this, this is what Jackson's been doing. He's been grabbing my hand. This is his new thing. And where, where is he trying to take you? Where do you want me to go? Where do you want to go? Let's go see where he's been doing this past couple days, like relentlessly. That means open the door right open now. Open door. He just wants the door open. Oh, he's like, thank you. Anyway, bye. <laughs> That's like his new big thing is like grabs our hands and goes, let's go over here. I'm going to show you. He go, he'll grab my shirt. He'll like pull me around. Usually he wants to go outside or to the kitchen because he loves being outside on his water table. And he likes going to the kitchen on his stool over here. The first time he brought me down was from war upstairs in the loft. He grabbed my hand, told me to open the gate, 
went down the stairs, came down here, grabbed my hand and down again, walked into that door and he's like, I wanna go outside. That's to what he did to me too. He got I'll go outside. I wanna go to the water table. It's like raining outside. He like really wants to play in the water table that he has. But obviously this one, he was just like, get me out of the room. I'm not playing in here. I wanna play basketball. We should get you a basketball outside, Jackson. I know, right? Anyways, guys, well, that's our big update, but um, we're excited that we're gonna be making dinner because we are hungry. Carlos, what are you making us? I am making you guys liver. What? Liver. That's actually really good for you, but I don't believe you. I don't think you're, you're low on iron, so liver's good well, for you. Well, I agree, but that's not what you're making for dinner, right? It's not making not a steak. Good. Phew. <laughs> yeah, Carlos gonna make us a delicious steak right now. Oh, here's Jackson to come help. He's like, let me help. I wanna help. He loves this chair, guys. Yeah, it's like, it's like difficult because we have to keep watching him and it's like a constant like, okay, we make sure if he's on there that we're there. But he's so cute, look at him. You guys wanna be a part of everything. All right, so before Carlos gets started on our delicious ribeye, I thought I'd tell you guys, we got brand new set of pans. Look at these babies, watch this. Ooh. Yeah, these are caraway pots and pans. These are really cool because they are 100% non-toxic ceramic, which is something we've been working on transitioning. Um, these are by far our favorite ones we've gotten so far because we've gotten like non-toxic pans But these are so good. They literally don't stick at all and look at the beautiful colors They come in they come in other colors to like comment your kitchen I love the color here because it just I think it complements the kitchen and the white in here But look at these beauties and it came with these organizers. I literally don't use any other pots or pans. I just use these. We seriously don't. We don't even need the other ones anymore, I think. If you guys want to have an investment in your guys' kitchen, I actually have a 10% off code for this. I'm not sponsored by them. I just have an affiliate link for you guys. If you guys want them, 10% off. I'll have the link down in the description. I just think they're beautiful and such a nice addition to the kitchen. Anyways, Carl's gonna make us some dinner now. And I gotta get our side dish going. I gotta figure out what we're gonna have for our side dish. Okay, I got my helper. He's gonna help me season the steak. <laughs> yeah, you you gonna help daddy? You ready Jackson? I actually think we're gonna make rice um, because I have a whole thing of chicken stock here and we have to use it. So I got this chicken stock from a full chicken I made and then probably some sort of veggie side dish just because. Ooh, I see bell pepper and asparagus. That sounds good. All right, Jackson really wants bell pepper. So I had Carlos cut off a piece for him. You, you said you wanted it. Here. You can hold it yourself. I love that he likes to try new things. It's so adorable. <laughs> Watch, Mama will show you. Ready? Mmm. Yummy in here. Oh. <laughs> Not a fan. Well, it'll be there if you want it, okay? Here, I'll leave these right there for you. He probably will like it cooked more, but he has been pretty anti-veggies lately. It's okay, though. We still serve it to him. I cut off these ones. I always just like to serve him vegetables because I feel like sometimes he usually comes around to them. The other day, he was like so disgusted by the blueberries I was giving him, and then he tried it again, and he was in love with them and ate like the whole thing of blueberries. So I really think that sometimes his first reaction is just icky, and then he usually likes it. I think just, he ate it. You just gotta keep trying. Yeah, I, I, I think he ate the bell pepper. Well, he dropped the big piece on the ground, but I think he ate that small piece he had. And dinner is served. We got rice made with my chicken stock. We got some bell pepper. Got our yummy steak. Jackson's got his own. <laughs> okay, here, here you go, sorry. <laughs> I'm feeding him one at a time because with meat, he just shoves so much in his mouth. He ends up gagging on it, so. I'm gonna give him a couple pieces at a time. Anyways, dinner looks delicious. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Jackson. Today I'm just hanging out with my PJs upstairs before I go to bed. Let me see that. He's got like hair in his mouth. He's got something in his mouth. Come here. What do you have in your mouth? A tongue. Run, baby, run! Run! run. <laughs> got you. It's the safe zone right here with mama. All right, ready? Okay, go. Go get daddy. So we tear him out at night. <laughs> <laughs> run! <laughs> what you got? He's like literally grabbing his tongue. I think he's got a hair in his no, mouth. No, it's just like grabbing his tongue. Let me see. Run to mama! Run to mama! <laughs> no, no, mama. No safe zone today, mama. Why are you like literally like holding his tongue? Ah! Oh, spin, 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 spin. Anyways, guys, we are just hanging out upstairs. It's almost bedtime for Jackson. Don't be aggressive. <laughs> Favorite thing to do is when I 
sniff him. Alright, should we end the vlog, baby? Ready? Say thank you guys for watching today's video. I think that's all we have for today. Hope you guys liked the video. Smash that thumbs up button. Grab your tongue and say bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Say, say yeah, bye bye.